grunge mixture to use on your primitive dolls? Let me show you how. My name is Jersey. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do a very quick tutorial because over the next few months I'm going to be showing you how to make primitive crafts and apply this grunge technique. And to make those videos respectful of your time and keep it short, I'm going to show the method here and during each video I'll tell you to look up there and I'll refer to this video. This way if you already know it you can continue watching the video that I will be making showing how to use this. For now, this is very quick. I'm going to be making half of the batch because I already have a batch and I don't need a lot, lot more. Look up to the see more section and you will be able to have a link that goes to this right on YouTube that you can print this free recipe. Again, I'm going to be making half of the recipe. So for half a recipe, you're going to start with a half a cup of instant coffee. And this is what I use. I use Dollar Tree instant coffee, Dollar Tree cinnamon, Dollar Tree vanilla extract. And this year I went and got Dollar Tree pumpkin spice. But I prefer to use cinnamon, nutmeg, and ginger because I buy it in bulk and I always have it on hand. But I wanted to buy the pumpkin spice so it would be easy for you to get all your materials at the Dollar Tree. To that, you will add one cup of very hot water and I added one tablespoon of Dollar Tree vanilla extract. Give this a stir really well. To this, I'm going to add one and a half tablespoons of spices. I usually use a tablespoon of cinnamon, a tablespoon of nutmeg, and a tablespoon of ginger per the recipe that you can print out. But today I'm making half a batch, so it's one and a half tablespoons. For this recipe, I'm actually using pumpkin spice that I found at the Dollar Tree. I just put it into a glass jar and put a label pumpkin spice. This is in case you don't have cinnamon, nutmeg, or ginger. This will really suffice. So add your spices. Stir well. Takes about half a minute to a minute. I have to tell you, today's the second day of autumn. It smells so good. It is about 52 degrees up on the mountain in Tennessee. And I have all the windows open and it smells so good in here. You want to scrape all that cinnamon and spices down. And it's actually ready to go. It's that simple. I'm going to show you my grunge mix that I've had since January of this year. Over nine months ago, I store it in the refrigerator as you can too. And as you see, the spices will settle to the bottom. And the only reason I made a half a batch, because I already have this batch and I don't need a lot right now. But I want to show you something that may alarm you or gross you out. Once this is made, this grunge mixture, and put it in the refrigerator, it gets very, I'm going to say, slimy. And as you will see, it comes out. And then it gets very slimy, like slime. It's perfectly fine. It is not old. I've never had this mold. I've kept it into the refrigerator up to a year. Add a little hot water to the jar, swish it around, pour it in there. I'm going to now combine these two. The old and the new. It is not bad and it will not hurt it. Just add some more hot water, give it a stir, see the slime? Perfectly okay. Nothing wrong with that. If that gross you out, as soon as you grunge your doll or something, put it down the drain, it won't hurt it. But I like keeping it and I just add a little more coffee, a little more spices, a little more vanilla. I don't measure. So let me show you how I grunge my primitive dolls and crafts. If you have seen my other videos, I highly recommend the Teflon sheets from Amazon. I'll leave the link below. And here's a primitive doll I did years ago, maybe a decade or so ago. With this doll, I pre-painted it with cream paint. 
and then I let it dry and I went back and I grunged it. You can also do it when it is wet. And as you can hear, it gives it a very stiff texture, which at the time I stuffed all my dolls with alpaca. I no longer do that because I had to throw away probably 10, 12 dolls I made with alpaca. The moths got inside of it and it ate my dolls. I used to paint it first, so I thought the bugs couldn't get in, but they did. This one luckily was stuffed with cotton, so I don't have to worry about it. Sometimes I paint my dolls first and then I grunge it. All depends what type of mood I'm in. If you're going to use paint first, you will still use the clear water technique, get everything wet and add your paint. And then you can grunge it while it's still painted or you can let it dry and add your grunge. And you can see right here, that's where some of the slime was, which is fine. It doesn't bother me. And I also grunge anything I paint black, like his boots. They were grunged. The clothes were done in walnut hulls dyes. I have a full tutorial on that. If you look up there, I'll leave the link to the video on how to dye with walnut hulls. And as you can see, it got darker in some spots and I wiped some of it off the grunge when it was still wet and it gave it the lighter texture. Here was a lot darker. So it has different tones to it, which I really like. It makes it look primitive. Same thing with the hands. But that's one way how you can use this grunge. You can use it on raw fabric or painted fabric. Let's get back to grunging. I'd like to show you one trick that I like to do. I just have a little bit of cold water. I have two brushes from the Dollar Tree. One is designated for water. One is designated for grunging. Wash them out and use them forever. I only use cotton batting, so I find when I do this method that I'm going to show you, when it dries, it tightens it up. You take your stuffed head, pumpkin, whatever. Now you can grunge the material first, but I find it is much better to do it this way. And I take my plain paintbrush, only used for water, and it's just like dyeing fabric or wool or alpaca. You always get your wool or alpaca wet first. I never put my raw materials into a dye bath unless it has been wet and wrung out. So already you can start seeing the difference where I started getting it wet and where I did not. I just find I have more control and I like it better when I wet my material first. You don't have to. You can just go ahead and start using grunge. But from being a dyer, I have found out that mater wet materials absorbs dye better than if it was not wet. You really want to get these seams. I can feel that it's all wet. Some are where you can see where I started on the top is really starting to absorb the water. This is fine. And this is how simple it is. This will depend on how grungy you like your crafts. So even if you have the slime, it's fine. Don't be afraid if it's too dark. You can always go back and tone the color down with some straight clear water. Now this is gonna dry different. It could dry darker or it could dry lighter. Get those seams really well. So pretty already. And when you take this out of the refrigerator and you add some hot water, if this was too dark for you, it would tone it down already. Even though you don't see the underneath, I like getting all the nooks and crannies. I don't dry my primitive dolls and crafts in my oven. You certainly could. You'd put it in about a 175 to 200 degree oven and you need to flip it like every 10, 15 minutes. I don't need to flip it because I use my dehydrator. And there, that is beautiful. If you dry it and it's too light, you can always come back and do another application. Like right now, if it's 
if you wanted to remove some of the color you would dip your clean brush that you're going to wash right away into water and you can concentrate and it will make it lighter in spots that's what I did with the other doll make sure you rinse it really well right away because this is for water and water only and then what I like to do this is my dehydrating tray silicone mat I put it right on center just like that and that's it there's nothing more to do I put it in my dehydrator I usually put it about 155 I think that's the highest dehydrator will go but if I'm drying something at 95 degrees like herbs I just put it in the bottom or the very top it, it's not dripping so even if it was with the silicone mat I don't have to worry about it and then I just take this store it in my jar in the refrigerator I'll add a little hot water to this get all this cleaned out and pour it in there and that's basically my grunging technique I have never thrown this out it has never gotten old or moldy for me I will be making a lot of projects primitive projects over the next few months and I'm gonna be using this grunge and I'm gonna refer back to this video so hopefully that will help and here is the head that was grunged. I decided to turn it into a scarecrow and apply it to the cans with the grunge candle. Look up to the playlist. You can find both of those how-tos. And there you have it. Please subscribe, hit the bell. This way you'll be notified next week when I start making all my primitive crafts for the fall and Christmas and next year. Thank you for watching. My name is Jersey and have an awesome day.